Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a taco style burger. Flat out taco burger. We're gonna put everything on the halo. You guys watch this. We have a video that's way back in the old days. I'm talking about way back in the old days because this is one of the things that I used to do all the time. I love a taco burger. It's just something different. Honestly, anytime the word taco is mentioned, I'm pretty much on board. So this is more of like a my style. This is not authentic. This is just something I thought of and I thought it'd be great. The other day I was playing around and I did a Oklahoma onion burger. And then we did the Oklahoma, the, uh, the double smash with bacon for a video. I piggybacked off of that and was playing around with my daughter because she wanted taco meat. And so really quickly, I just warmed up a griddle, mixed the taco seasoning in there, made burgers, and then she made a little quesadillas out of it. And I came up with something and I'm gonna show you guys today. So really quick, we up the game and set up a bun. We're gonna do these um, these rolls right here. But, but we have no idea how to say it. Belio. <laughs> People are gonna say that I disrespect it because I can't pronounce it. Trust me, it's worse if I don't. Bottom line is, they're <laughs> you like can't a- can't pronounce English words, honey. Thank you. Ground beef, okay? We're gonna make little balls out of there. We got jalapenos and onion. I'm gonna slice these thin, slice these thin, and that's gonna be the smash part. I'm gonna make a fresh pico. We've already got a fresh uh, guacamole right here. And then I'm gonna add some sour cream, a little tahini, and it's gonna be absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. You ready? Yes, Let's go. starving. All right, if you guys are interested, this recipe will be on our website, theflattopking.com. I think it's one of the ones that you guys wanna try, and I'm honestly excited to show you. Simple, you guys like simple recipes, this is it. All right. Pound of ground beef. I like my taco seasoning. That's just one I prefer. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of it. And then this stuff's been on me lately. I like it as well. It just gives it a deeper flavor. It's got a little bit more spice in there. Um, quite fond of it. I don't know if you can find it, if you can. I think, I think you can only maybe find it online. It's thespiceguyco.com. Doing an audible, just adding one more tablespoon. You want that flavor in there. So now we're just gonna make, just mix this all together. Just incorporate all that seasoning into the meat. It's about football season. About time to make that taco dip. If everybody knows me, the first game of the season, taco dip will be made. And you will eat the whole thing <laughs> by yourself. All right. We're gonna go a little bit smaller today because when you try to match your meat with your buns, if you got a smaller bun, you need a smaller piece of meat. So, no comments out there. Probably like the size of a golf ball because I want to stack these. Uh, we are going to go a little bit smaller today, so we're going to stack about three of them on there. All right, I got the meatballs resting because I feel like that uh, seasoning will help introduce itself into the meat just a little bit longer. Let's make a quick pico. Onions, lime, garlic, jalapeno, cilantro, salt, pepper, and tomato. All right, once all your vegetables are prepped, a little salt, a little fresh pep. Now just incorporate everything into the bowl. Probably about a squeeze of half a lime. We're a lime fan, so if it's a little lime heavy, we're fine with it. These are juicy, so. They are. Typically, you don't get that. Now notice I'm doing all my prep work before, because what have we learned about anything that goes on the griddle fast? You better be ready, right? Your cheeses need to be out. Everything like this needs to be done. You need to be ready to go. Fifth gear, hundredth gear, whatever gear you got. Everything needs to be ready. Don't have any tortilla chips in the pantry. We could make them. <laughs> we could. Those are the best. Right. The homemade tortilla chips. Mm. That's it. Mm, that's good. Let me try. All right, so this is one idea I had. I've been using this lately. I'm kind of a fan. I'm still on the fence of it. It's not like I don't like it but it's good enough to where I keep using it. So I've got some sour cream here and I'm just gonna add it, maybe like a, a third of a cup of sour cream to my guess is about two tablespoons of this. Obviously you can adjust it as, as you need and that's gonna be the, 
the sauce that carries it right there. All right, and lastly, you just want to thinly slice your onions as thin as you can get them. You can use your mandolin. Your seeds should be back here. If we get a little vein in there, that's fine. Okay. Something like that. So there's the idea behind it. All right, just to recap, we got our sliced onions and jalapenos because this is very important to do this. You have to be, you have to be ready to go. Your balls are actually smaller than normal, so it's gonna take even quicker. Um, let's say we got a fresh pico or guacamole or cheese, our sauce is ready and our meat is over here sweating with all those seasonings inside. So we are ready to go. Put the hat on, because now I'm in business. It's 118 degrees, the hat, the hat makes me sweat. So <laughs> try to relieve the pressure. Where's my buns? Baby got buns. All right, I added some avocado oil down. I've got my first two burners on low. Uh, you see we're smoking, which means we're at a good high temp or a hotter temp. I'm just gonna put these off the, off the side. I'm kind of looked to warm them up. These things are like, when I say fresh, we had to wait for them from the bakery to even be packaged. So they're already extremely soft. So I don't want to ruin that because I think I like the texture, but I do want that exterior to crisp up just a little bit and be able to hold the juices, okay? All right. Take a little bit of that onion. Couple jalapenos. Obviously, if you want it spicier, you can add more. Just smash them down. We're looking for thin. Hold them. I can already tell this is a winner. All right, remember, it doesn't take long. I'm going to try to build it the same way we're going to put it on the that torta. plan was to overlap the patties yes to make them the shape of the all bun. those onions crispy onion style the jalapenos mm. all right so this was the thinking behind it your meat's resting just do a nice dollop of guacamole i'll hit it with some of that lettuce with all your pico juice, just try to strain it when you when you uh, spoon it. Then that sour cream and tahini set up nicely. Just right over top. Now that is a taco burger. Mm. Whew. All right, guys, there you go. Just a nice, simple, different way to enjoy the griddle, enjoy the foods that you love. And it, I mean, it should look something, whoo, it's messy. <laughs> like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's missing something. How can it be missing something? I don't know. It's fantastic. <laughs> I think it might be the guacamole cooling it down. I think it's got heat from the jalapeno. Mm. I tell that's, you, that's what makes it anything. You're crazy. <laughs> I think you get the tahini and the sour cream. That's not missing anything. Mm. That's that's perfectly spicy. Golly. There's those flavors in your mouth. Mm. It takes a second. Mmm. Well, I've had one bite. 
And she's I had four. four. <laughs> I, guess, I guess maybe. Here, go ahead. No, I guess maybe in the seasoning mix, I'd actually probably added just a little bit more. Really? Maybe. I don't think so. It, it's almost perfect. Like, I don't know if that can be said, but like the bun is perfect. I think the guacamole cools it down. I love the fact that the, the onions come through. I think the heen comes through in the sour cream. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of depth of flavor. There's a lot of flavor in there. I mean, a lot. That's good. <laughs> you love it. And I think it's a 9.5. I just thought it might have been missing. All right, guys, there you go. If you guys a 9.5. <laughs> when you're 10 for 10. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. We talk about griddles, uh, different combinations of food, inspiration from you guys, yada, yada. Don't forget, check out theflattopking.com. It's where we'll have this recipe listed below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Thanks. Mm. Dang, honey, that, that's good. <laughs>